How to create the best prompt to meet Joni in this step by step tutorial. Let's take a look how we can do this really, really quick. So, hey everybody, welcome into this new tutorial. Here into the Met Joni, I'm going to be showing you like the best prompts that we can use in order to have like the most accurate artworks for and by yourself. In order to get started, guys, what you want to do is to, of course, set things up. All right, so how do we set the things up? What I want to do is to go into the metjoni.com. And once I am here, what I want to do is to choose the option. It says join the beta mode. So once I click this option, I'm going to hit into open a new link into a new tab, and it's going to be popping up the authorization of this code into the actual MetJourney. What we need to do, of course, is to grant the access of MetJourney to enter our actual Discord. So after hitting to accept the invitation, you want to go into Discord, and you're going to be seeing that the MetJourney is now inside our Discord. What you want to do is to focus into creating your very first server. For example, I'm going to go for add a server. So here I'm going to type my create my own. And then you want to fill this information as you want to. Hit into continue and then go back into my journey inside this code, of course. And then what you want to do is to focus into new view section. And once we are in here, what you want to do is to focus into the contact list that appears into the upper side. Here's the member list, and here I want to look out for Medjoni in bot. So what I want to do is to add this to our server that we just created. Add to server, here I want to look out for this one, and here to continue. Now that we have successfully done that, what we want to do is to focus into the prompt. Now into the prompts, what you want to do is to click in here where you have your own NFT section. In my case here is my AI networks. I'm going to click into message. I'm going to type the fast forward slash. I'm going to type info. So if I typed info, it says view information about your profile. Or you can type the fast forward slash. And here I'm going to go for Metzoni bot. And here you can see that there's a lot of comments that you can use for this bot. But we just want to be focused in into Imagine. So here into Imagine, here we can type the prompt. We can type whatever we want to. Let's say, for example, a royal card riding a unicorn. And boom, the Metzoni is going to be creating something like this. So if you want to get started now, you have to just go into prompt and then you can start doing whatever you want to do. So uh, before we continue, you need to understand that there are a few limitations just in case you have a free account. So if I type into information, you're going to see that you have a subscription trial mode. You have the job mode fast. We have a visible mode public. And here are all the fast time remaining, the lifetime usage and the realistic usage we need. We, of course, have available into our account. With that being said, now we can see how to improve our prompts in order to don't spend this a lot. And to optimize our work, we want to use Prompt Hero. Now, Prompt Hero is an amazing place where we can find million of odd images and AI models like Dali number two, Civil Fusion, Myth Journey. And what we want to do is to look out for this odd images to see what are the actual prompt that they use to create the artwork. So you don't want to look for the one that you want to create. You want to look for something a little bit more, let's say, for example, uh, like a relation or whatever. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down to Prompt Hero. So if I'm looking for some kind of uh, like an artwork like this, I'm going to click into this prompt. And as you can see, we do have this one that was created with Stable Diffusion version 1.5. And here is the actual prompt that was being generated for the actual creator which is the sand wave style portrait of an anime woman cyberpunk sand wave sci-fi soft light and so on and on and on so what you want to do is to copy this information do you want to go back into your met journey and once you are here into pet journey you type your fast forward slash you type your image in and here into prompt you want to type the description of what you want let's say for example a royal cat once again and just paste the prompt that you find into the into the prompt hero. Now let's say that here I want to look for just a specific cyberpunk images, uh, cyberpunk uh, let's say results. So I'm gonna go for cyberpunk prompts, and here I have a lot, really, really a lot of models that I can choose, so I can have like the same style. And I can try to use those to actually get started into Metzoni. Now, if I just want to focus into Metzoni, where it says all models, you want to change that. 
into Met Johnny that appears in here and you're gonna see all the models that appears inside Met Johnny. So with that being said, let's say that I want to look out for the first one. In here I do have the wide angle action shot of a beautiful cyberpunk android team in a cyberpunk city. So as you can see, what we can be focusing on is into the focus of the camera, the style, the elements, the background, and the version really important the b4 this is something i'm going to be explaining in the next topic but first of all i'm going to go back and i'm going to look for another example like for example this one the wide angle action shot of a beautiful cyberpunk android gym structure body in a cyberpunk city we have a lot really really a lot and we have the mid journey version number four so with that being said we can just go into the last step to get the best prompt which is the settings if I go into my desk code, what I want to do is to delete everything that we have in here. Just focus in here just for the time. And here what I want to do is to go for the fast forward slash. And here I want to go for settings. If I click into settings, it's going to be appearing all the different tools that you can customize in order to have different versions of what you're trying to ask for. For example, now mail has the version number four available. So if you have the version number three, what you want to do is to change that into the Met Journey version number four, and you might be getting a few improvement into your own work. Now, uh, everybody has the half quality, you can just leave this into half quality. I can surely suggest you to leave this into half quality so you guys can have like more chances to use more time. And then later on, if you do like what you're seeing, you can upload this into high quality and then you can just download it and you don't spend a lot. Lastly, if I see the style media, you want to go for style very high public mode and the fast mode you want to go into relax mode so the actual mid journey can take the time to start working into your project with that being said you want to leave it like that go back here into your own messages and start with your new prompt go into imagine and there we can go now if you go into your profile you're going to be seeing that here is going to be appearing all your work that has been completed into through the Met Journey. As you can see, I have four different versions of what I was creating here. It's a window that I was creating, and I use exactly the same tools, the same influences that Met Journey of the Prompt Hero can be uh, helping you. So, what you want to do is just to focus into the character, you want to focus into the angle of the shot, so you want to focus into the background and into the style, and of course, into the technique as well. But with those elements, I think that we can all start to do something really, really interesting. And actually, I asked it to create some something like for Five Nights at Freddy's, some, some horror video game that was developed into 2014 and it really did something really really special. You want to see what is the prompt that you used to be appearing down in here and as you can see I didn't use a, like a lot of tools but if I wanted to I can use more tools using the prompt hero so I can have like much more quality into all my works. With that being said guys we have reached into the very end of the video but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools for the Matt Joni, Discord, your accounts and all that. So thank you once again for watching the video guys. See you next time.